Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Sunday, July the 29th. It's the 10th Sunday after Pentecost and week 4 in the Psalm Cycle. At the scripture for this service, Psalm 8, Acts 28, verse 23 to 31, and Jeremiah 31, verse 10 through 14. And join me now in singing the fifth verses of Spread, O Spread. Word of life most pure and strong, word for which the nations long, spread abroad until from night all the world awakes to light. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia, Psalm 8. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings, you have ordained strength that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what are we that you are mindful of us, the children of the earth, that you visit them? For you have made us a little lower than the angels and have crowned us with glory and honor. You made us to have dominion over the works of your hands, you have put all things under our feet, all sheep and oxen and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O Sovereign God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, beginning at verse 23. After they had set a day to meet with Paul, they came to him at his lodgings in great numbers. From morning until evening he explained the matter to them, testifying to the kingdom of God, and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. Some were convinced by what he had said, while others refused to believe, and so they disagreed with each other. And as they were leaving, Paul made one further statement. The Holy Spirit was right in saying to your ancestors, through the prophet Isaiah, Go to this people and say, You will indeed listen, but never understand. You will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they've shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. Let it be known to you then that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles. They will listen. And Paul lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, 
proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, hear the word of the Most High, O nations and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. A canticle of the prophet Jeremiah. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear the word of the Most High, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say God that scattered Israel will gather them and keep them as a shepherd keeps a flock. For the Most High has redeemed Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and ransom them from hands too strong. And therefore they shall come and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of God for wheat and for wine and for oil, for the young of the flock and of the herd. And their lives shall be as a watered garden, and they shall not sorrow any more. And then the virgins shall rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satisfy the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, says God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.